What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. So my last video, I had a lot of y'all comment and send me messages asking about how or where I got that uh, ghost shrimp pump that I was using to get those ghost shrimp. Uh, well, I actually made that one myself, so today I decided I'd make a little video to show y'all how y'all can make you one as well. And you can get everything just at your local hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Um, you can get it all for right around 20 bucks. All right, so here's just a quick rundown of all the different items you're gonna need. Um, first, you're gonna need a piece of two inch PVC pipe. You're gonna need three quarter inch PVC pipe. You're gonna need a two inch cap, a, th a three quarter inch cap. You're also gonna need a two inch test, pl test plug, a three quarter inch T, and then I got a one inch drill bit and a quarter inch drill bit. We'll use those in a little bit. Um, I went ahead and cut my PVC to 36 inches. If you don't have a saw or a way to cut them, uh, you can buy them pre-cut at the store and they come in two foot sections. I like to make mine a little taller just because I am 6'2 and it's, if I have a two foot pump it's going to be a lot of bending over hard on my back. Um, but you can definitely get away with using a two foot one if you don't have a way to cut them. Alright y'all, so for this first step, we're going to take the two inch cap that we got and we're going to get the one inch drill bit. We're going to drill a hole right in the center of the top of this cap. Alright, so once you get that one inch hole, you are going to need to be slightly bigger. So you're going to put that drill back in there, kind of move it around a little bit, try to make that hole just a hair bigger than one inch. Basically you're going to need it just big enough for the three quarter inch pipe to be able to go in and slide without too much resistance. That still has a little bit, so I'm going to take just a little bit more out of this hole. Alright, that's perfect. Alright, so the next step, we're going to take our quarter inch drill bit, our three quarter inch cap. We're going to do the same thing, put a hole right in the center of the cap. All right, so the screw with the test plug is slightly larger than a quarter inch. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first hole. Put the drill bit in here, kind of move it around a little bit and make that hole slightly larger than a quarter inch. If you do have a 5 16 inch drill bit, it's probably going to work out a lot better. You won't have to do all that, but I do not, so I just use a quarter inch and then just go through and make the hole slightly larger. Also, I did forget to mention in the beginning when I was listing the different items you're going to need. The test plug, the screw, and the wing nut that come with it are zinc, uh, which they're going to rust pretty quick in the salt water. So I did pick up a uh, stainless steel. This is a 5 16 by 2 inch and then a wing nut and these are the number 18 threads threads doesn't really matter just make sure the threads match for your um, for the nut and then the for the bolt and the wing nut all right so for the next step you want to get your test plug i have already done this step but on the test plug one of the sides is going to be slightly larger because what they're made to do is fit right in the end of the two inch pipe and then so the larger end would not be able to fit inside. What you want is for that to be able to fit down in here and that's what's gonna help create your suction. Um, what I did, I used a multi-tool and a Dremel. I just cut around the excess and then used the Dremel to kind of grind it down into a little smoother of a circle. Um, so you're gonna wanna be able to do that. If you do not have the tools to be able to grind down that plastic, you can buy a two inch washer 
and just replace this with the washer that's pretty much going to do the same thing for you but I just went ahead and grinded that down to the thickness that it needs to be to be able to slide right in the end of that two inch pipe all right so now what we're going to do we're going to take the three quarter inch cap that we have we're going to take the five sixteenth inch bolt we're going to slide it from the inside put these pieces from the test plug back in here and then we got our wing nut screw this on like so And then, also did forget to mention in the beginning, you are going to need some PVC glue. I just went ahead and got the cheapest one they have. It's medium clear. Um, if you have some at home, it really doesn't make a difference what you have. So we're going to go ahead and put a little glue on the cap. Put a little bit around the edge of the 3 quarter inch pipe. We're just going to glue that right on the end of that. All right, then for our next step, we're gonna take the two inch pipe, put some glue on there, and the two inch cap, put a little glue on it. Put that cap on one end, like so. And then we're just gonna take the three quarter inch piece, run it through there, might have to loosen the plug a little bit. So you want to slide that in through the end just like that. And then we will take our three quarter inch T. Little glue on there. Little glue on the three quarter inch piece. You want to slide that T right on there. And that is pretty much it. Pretty simple. So at this point, uh, we're gonna have the wing nut on the bottom here. What you can do with that is tighten it and loosen it. Kind of, you're gonna have to go out there and work with it, kind of figure out how tight you need it to be to get the right amount of suction. Uh, if it's too tight, it's gonna be tough to pull it up. If it's too loose, it's obviously not gonna suck enough sand out. Um, so once you kind of figure that out while you're out there, then you'll be able to just pull this in and out just like that. And that's it guys. Fairly simple. Um, I'll go ahead and list the uh, different items that you are going to need in the description box below. Alright y'all, so that's it. Uh, after about 20 bucks in materials, 10 to 15 minutes in time, you can have your own ghost shrimp pump. Uh, if you don't know how to pump ghost shrimp or haven't done it before, you can look at my video up here. Uh, click that link and that'll take you to my previous video of how I pump some ghost shrimp. Um, it's excellent bait. It's free bait. Um, so y'all check that out. Go ahead and give me a big like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Click the bell next to it so you don't miss any of my future videos. I appreciate it guys. Until next time, y'all take care.